Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have an exciting unboxing from three different brands, two from Louis Vuitton, one from Chanel, and one from Hermes. Before we proceed, I would like to first thank my returning subscribers as I am truly grateful for your continued support to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the button located at the bottom right corner of your screen and hit that notification bell to be notified for any new videos as I do upload videos two to three times a week. Also, there will be a Christmas giveaway announcement in how to enter this coming Thursday video and will announce the winner on Christmas Day which is the 25th in my Instagram account so please stay tuned for that. Okay, let's get started. Basically, this is a reveal video from my prior Any Guesses video. Let me show you a short clip. Okay, it's time for the reveal slash unboxing. Oh, by the way, I am currently using my Canon camera for today's video. This is actually my first video not using my iPhone to film. I will be doing a separate review regarding this G7X Mark II after a couple of views to let you know what I think about this camera. Got sidetracked there, but let's get back to where we were, which is the reveal slash unboxing. Okay, let's open this baby up. You probably already guessed what's inside this orange box. This is the Bastia or Change Purse in Epsom calfskin leather finish with a palladium plated snap closure. My first Bastia is in the Evercolor leather which is way softer than this leather finish. As soon as I saw the availability of this change purse from Hermes website, I grabbed it right away as this shade or color doesn't come out that often from their website. And of course, pink is one of my favorite colors. Okay, let's unbox the second item which is the Louis Vuitton Ultimate Monogram BB Bandeau. Yes, it's another shade of pink. I must love pink, right? I must say that I'm loving this year's Louis Vuitton holiday tissue paper. It has that fresh atmosphere to it. Okay, here she is. Let's take a look at her up close. Now here comes my third item, it's from Chanel and of course I posted some photos in my Instagram account and to several Facebook groups to guess what's inside this box and some of you guessed it right. Others guessed it's another classic handbag and some mentioned jewelries. Hmm, I guess the box size from the photo I posted looked quite deceiving. I don't know, which was not my intention by the way. Okay, here she is, my very first ballerina flats. I've never thought of purchasing the Chanel ballerina flats before, but I've fallen in love with it and I actually love the two-tone style with these color combinations. The US shoe size is 7.5 and, and my essay suggested to get the 37.5 size. Now before we get to the final box, let's take a quick look at these goodies that my essay included with my Chanel Ballerina Flats. She gave me two sets of long ribbons along with the body cream and a travel size perfume. One thing about me is that I'm allergic to perfume, lipstick, and any scented body soap, scented shampoo, conditioner or any scented hand cream. Now I am very thankful getting these sample size freebies as I normally give them away to my mother-in-law or to my co-workers. 
Now I only keep some travel size perfume for my car's use as I don't like the musty smell when it rains. I basically use it as an alternative scent similar to air freshener. Now onto the final box in today's video is my Louis Vuitton handbag. Nobody actually guessed of what's inside this box. So drum roll please. I had asked my essay to find me this specific handbag that's made in France. I noticed that it's a lot easier to give up an item that is made in France than made in the US, Italy, or made in Spain. Again, this is just my observation. Feel free to put your comments below. I would love to know what your thoughts are if there are any basis to my observations. Similar to Speedy handbags, Alma BB comes with locking keys. It comes with this beautiful four feet. Now this is the item code. Let's take a look at the other items that came with such as the non-adjustable shoulder strap and clochette. As far as for the clochette, I prefer using my existing red luggage tag as it gives that pop of color to this handbag. Okay, she's all dressed up. So what do you guys think about this luggage tag? One more time, let's take a look at this beauty up close before the family photo in today's unboxing items. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed in today's reveal of my items. Please give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you on my next video. Bye!